In this video tutorial, we are going to be installing um, the Visual C Sharp Integrated Development Environment, and we are going to be creating our first program. This is the first part of my Visual C Sharp language series. So let's get started by opening up your internet browser and navigating to Microsoft.com slash Express. Once you navigate to the site, select Downloads, and under C Sharp, select the correct download for your language. Once the setup file downloads, proceed to set up the application. If it prompts you to install a SQL Server Express Edition or Silverlight, proceed to install those applications as well. The installation could take up to an hour. So once the installation is done, go ahead and go to the start menu and launch the integrated development environment. It, you should see a screen like this, showing that it's running for the first time. Once you see the Integrate Development Environment, go to Help and select Register Product. You should see a screen like this. Then click Obtain a Registry Key Online. Registration is free. It will prompt you to put in your Windows Live account. Then it will prompt you to fill out a quick survey for information. This is optional. And then it will give you a serial key. Copy this key and go back and paste it. And then click register now. To make sure that uh, your IDE is registered, go to help and about and it should say that it is registered. Okay, now that it is registered, we can proceed to create our uh, first application. Uh, for this application, we're going to create uh, the classic Hello World demonstration. So, let's go ahead and create a Windows Forms application, calling it Lesson 01. And then click OK. And we should see a, a surface like here. Uh, we have a designer right here and we have a toolbox to the side we are going to select the toolbox and pin it down and then we are going to drag open a button and then we're going to double uh, click on the button to create an event handler and we are going to type in message box dot show hello world in the future videos we will discuss this code and how it works Now then, uh, click the green compilation button so that we compile this application into an EXE and then proceed uh, to let the application run. And once you have finished running the application, click save. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.